Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video, I'm here to highlight top features which has been added to Backup Exec 22 version. And I'm going to end this video with a brief demo. So let's get started. Support for Microsoft 365 workloads. A lot of organizations, they have adopted Microsoft 365 SaaS application and rightly so. But as a company, data within these SaaS application is still your responsibility. With version 22 of Backup Exec, it supports now Microsoft Exchange Online as well as OneDrive. And the good thing is that you don't need to do any separate installation from one management console, which you're already using for protecting your physical as well as virtualized workloads. You'll be able to protect Exchange Online and OneDrive with more features coming in the next release. Now with version 22, Backup Exec is using SQL Express 2017 64 bit for storing its database, giving you better performance. And in keeping with the cloud first approach, B now supports even more cloud region, for example, Google Santiago, as well as AWS Jakarta. And on building on the cloud deduplication technology, it also supports now deduplication to cloud with S3 generic cloud providers. So these were the some of the top new features which has been added to Backup Exec 22. And you can also have the flexibility of uh, having new licensing model, which you can reach out to the licensing team. Now with this, I'm going to flip over to the Backup Exec portal just to show you how you can add your Microsoft 365 tenant. All right, so I'm on the BE console and if you want to see which version you're running, you can go under configuration and setting and under local server properties, you will see which version it is. I'm on BE22 and if you want to use uh, and protect Microsoft 365 tenant, you need to be on a BE22 version. And if you want to upgrade maybe from the previous version, you can go to installation and licensing and you have the Veritas update option and you can upgrade from here too. Now adding Microsoft 365 tenant is very easy. So let me just right click here and add the 365 tenant. You have two options, choosing between Azure Global and Azure China. My tenant is sitting with Azure Global. So I'm going to pick that and go to the next. And you just need to copy the code for the security purposes. And you need to be the global administrator of your Azure Active Directory tenant. Because what is happening behind the scene is you're giving backup exec, which is an application, access to your Azure Active Directory, which is a default identity within Microsoft 365, so that it can protect your SaaS workloads, such as Exchange Online and uh, OneDrive. So I'm going to go to this URL and uh, copy this code and paste it here. And this is the tenant I'm talking about which I want to add. Let's provide the credentials. I'm going to check the box now and go to next. And here we go. We have added our Microsoft 365 tenant successfully here. And now like any other workload such as physical or virtualized, this is available for me. I can just right click and click on the backup button and I can create my Microsoft 365 backup. So if I go and uh, initialize this, I can go and edit what I want to backup. So as I said, with this release, I can backup my mailboxes and OneDrive automatically all my mailboxes within this tenant is populated here, right? I can just pick any specific one and click on OK. And now I can back this up to a deduplication folder. Now with this release, it has to be a deduplication folder, but maybe in the coming releases, there will be more option available for the storage destination. But it is as simple as that. This is how you can use 
backup exec now to protect your SaaS 